Oh yeah, welcome back. I'm up in the Wicklow Mountains. I decided to come up here for a wild camp tonight. The weather is meant to be pretty good, so I'm hoping it stays that way. <laughs> I haven't had much luck lately, but it's stunning now at the moment. a change of plan the summit that I was going to camp on is completely covered in cloud it's obviously the sun's gone down now so I'm just hiking over to the next summit where there's no cloud at the moment and hopefully I'll get a nice sunrise from there in the morning I'm letting my food sit for a little while and have my tea on. I've layered up a bit because it's absolutely Baltic up here. I'm just not used to it after the summer. Yeah, there's been a few things that went wrong tonight. I've had a few malfunctions with my cameras and my flexi tail pump, the little tiny pump. Oh my God, ran out of battery. I was only thinking today that I actually hadn't charged it yet. I thought, geez, that's going great. I flicked it on there and a little red light of doom on it. So I'm gonna have me tea, and I'm gonna have me me bickies. Oh yeah, a few rich tea and a cup of tea. Love it. The moon is right there in front of me, and it's a really nice clear sky. See a town over there? I've no idea where it is. Town behind the camera there? No idea where that is. <laughs> I do not care. I just like looking at it. Well, that was a mighty cup of tea. Absolutely mighty. I'm gonna have another one of them. Oh, it's, whew, it's been too long. I had a cup of tea about lunchtime. So, it's just unheard of really. For me to go that long without tea. Just looks like mush really. But yeah, it's gonna be good. I'm sure you don't want to sit there and watch me eat this and there's nothing else to see out here so I'll leave it here and I'll chat to you in the morning. Good night. It's not the morning yet. I've been getting saddled up inside the tent. The inner is touching the outer just up here and where my head is going to be. I can't lie the other end because I'm on a bit of a slope. I'm actually, I'm on a slope that way and that way. I can't blame the tent. It's not a great spot to pitch on really. There's not much to see to be honest. The clouds keep blowing in over the mountains so every time I come out the weather is meant to do this and it does the exact opposite. I know the mountains have their own way of doing things. This is a great YouTube channel if you want to see a guy come out and just try and survive while camping. Very very rarely does anything go to plan. I've just closed the door and a giant fart just let rip and it absolutely stinks. Oh, what is going on with my day? My own arse is fighting against me. I couldn't believe it. I just thrown it over and... Ah, uh, uh, lads, lads, lads. I'm sitting here now with my own stink, so... And look at this. Oh my god. Look at it. Did you look at Minger? I don't know. I had an absolutely terrible night's sleep last night. The wind hasn't let up at all. Uh, there is one plus. The condensation issue is gone. It was fairly chilly last night now. 
I have to say, I have me sleeping bag liner. Where is it? Bush. Bright orange. <laughs> yeah, I got that. I wasn't going to use it, but I was in the sleeping bag for about 10 minutes and decided, nah, my legs are cold and all that. So I'm completely dressed. I have a base layer on and I had my woolies on. I actually didn't have my gloves on last night. And I have my little, my only bit of merino wool that I own. So I always sleep fully dressed. I'm not into getting my arse out. <laughs> I'm just not into it. I'd be worried about someone rocking up on the tent to meet her. I just let me, you know, just let me get my trousers back on. I had no signal on my phone last night. Even when it says I have signal, it's saying emergency calls only at the moment. I'm delighted. I brought me Kindle. Um, I'm reading a book called The Caller. It's actually really good. Oh, hey! Just so you can see the time. I'm up since 10 to 5. That's just me backup. <laughs> That's if I don't wake up naturally. The sun's not coming up for another two and a half hours, so. We have loads of time. <laughs> loads of time. I'm just doing me purification tablet into this water. I picked up this water up here last night and it's just as clear as tap water. It was at the very start of a waterfall. It had, it was just running along the ground. It was literally the very, very start of the waterfall. So that needs about half an hour. I should have done it last night, but uh, just didn't think of it. That's what we're dealing with. This one is tap water, so I'm gonna crack on with this one. Let's get the food on. Let's get my food on. Sugar daddy. Where is my food? You're probably wondering why I have my food in a dry bag. It's purely for organization. I'm not worried about getting wet. There's nothing in there. There's only that which is in a Ziploc bag. And I've two coffees, which I've never had out camping. Actually, I think I might have had it once. But yeah, I'm going to have a coffee this morning. Instead of a tea. I am full of surprises, I know. It's crazy. It's crazy, crazy. So, this is my dehydrated meal. I had the exact same thing last night. Met it myself. Man of many talents. It's not that hard. It really isn't. But, um... I will do a video on it. But I'm not going to do it until I'm pretty savvy. Do you know what I mean? Get in there. Ugh, awkward. Bosh. Breakfast med, coffee med, happy days. I just looked outside and we're up in the clouds. There's absolutely no view to look at. So when I get out of the tent, I'll assess the situation. absolutely no fear of seeing the sunrise this morning. When I looked out, I saw that the whole mountain was covered in cloud, so I just decided to get packed up and get out of here. Thanks again for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!